everybody. Tressa here. I've got a special guest on tonight. This is a gentleman who is now a part of TGP. Um, Mike Shaver's here, so I wanted to introduce him, let him come in and say a little bit about himself, introduce himself, so people would know more about my staff. I'm always updating the staff page and everything and announcing everything that we can do as far as getting people published and stuff. And we're just growing bigger and bigger. And now that I have Mike uh, Schaefer on here, he can do uh, audio books. He can produce, he can help us produce our shows and I'll turn it over to him so he can introduce himself and tell you a little bit about what he does. Well, I'm not really sure where to start uh, as far as as far as uh, what you've said about me goes. I mean, I mean, not without tooting my own horn, so to speak. Um, I will say that uh, it was uh, 30 years ago this week that I first started in radio. Um, I've been in radio, uh, not continually, unfortunately, but on and off for the past 30 years. I, uh, I volunteer right now at an, an oldie station in Huber Heights. Uh, WSWOLP, we're oldies 97.3. I do a Saturday night show that I call Everything 70s. It's an all 70s show. Um, but outside of that, I do, uh, I, I, I put together my own show. I research all my material for my show. Um, I've also, since in the time I've been with the station, and um, it'll be, it's been about uh, 12, 13 years ago that I started with the station. And so, but uh, outside of DJing, I've also produced a couple of uh, radio dramas. I did, the first one I did was back in 09. We did an updated and localized version of The War of the Worlds. We did that. And then back in 2011, we, um, I put together um, our own version of Dickens A Christmas Carol, which is now um, an annual holiday broadcast. We broadcast it every Christmas now. So, um. Outside of that, there's really not much to tell. I've done some uh, voiceovers. I've done some narrations for some documentaries that have been uh, broadcast nationally. Um, there's, that's that's really all there is to it. Other than he's also got a great voice. So. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> he's got a great I get that voice. All the time. I get that all of the time. So. And we'll put up the link to the show he does, Everything 70s. That's what you said You it's called, right? Everything 70s? Yes. Everything okay. 70s. I, I'm getting senile, so I don't remember. <laughs> Join the crowd. <laughs> it's funny. Steven knows this. I'll be um, out doing a book signing or something, or now I'm working on other big projects uh, that deals with screenplays and stuff, and the screenplay writer get a hold of me or someone working on the project with me, and they say, ask me a question about a character, and I go, that character was in the book? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stephen knows I, I I've been known to do that a time or two. So, but we'll put all of your information um, in the uh, description box when this goes up on um, VidMe. And as you know, VidMe is the home of Tressa Graves, where I do all of my videos. All the dark hours are over there. And uh, so Mike may be coming on and helping us do a few uh, shows from, you know, from time to time. Uh, try and take some load off Stephen. I know Stephen probably wants to wring my neck sometimes because <laughs> I'm always, can we do this? Can we do this? And You can chime got... in anytime, Stephen. We know you're there. <laughs> 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 and now I've got other people that we're talking to about doing shows on, on the dark hours. So uh, Philly is working on a audio that Mike uh, had done on the Sawgrass footpath. So we're trying to put together a book trailer with Mike reading, which he did an excellent job at, uh, at reading it. I was, I was excited. Um, and we've just worn the Sawgrass out with doing so many different uh, book trailers and, you know, advertising and stuff. We're all tired of doing it. But after he sent in the audio that he did, it, it kind of, you know, got us all in the mood to do one last, you know, run through on the Sawgrass and stuff before my new book comes out, uh, the Dark Hours series. So that's going to be pretty cool. And hopefully he'll come on board and do a little bit of reading for those as well. 
and we'll have up his sample reading. So you guys, Stephen's done sample readings. Uh, Justin, uh, Philly's son, has read for the lady in the backyard. And now we have Mike. So we have three different people that can come in and do audio books if that's something that uh, new authors want whenever they uh, sign on with uh, TGP. Um, not only can they do the audio books, but uh, we can also do the book trailers. And it doesn't have to be a whole audio book. Uh, Stephen did one for me, uh, Fifty Shades of Graves. He came in, and I think uh, he read like 30, 30 seconds, a minute or so. So you don't have to get these guys for the whole book, but you can get them for your book trailer if you like what they, what they have to offer. Um, and everything on the publishing company is over on www.trustthegraves.com. Uh, we've got links to everything, staff, TGP, Bohemian Promotions. As everyone knows, I've got the new T-shirt line coming out. I'm so excited about this. Um, I can't say much of what my T-shirts are going to uh, be, but uh, it's going to be it's going to be a really big project. I can't wait for that. Um, Russ McCamey is going to do uh, T-shirts with me, and the serial killer uh, calendar guys would be over there as well. So we're going to have a whole line of merchandise. I've already got my stuff. I, if I can put my face on it or something, I try to and sell it. Everybody knows that. So <laughs> we've got the T-shirts, the audio books, books, um, and we'll have other merchandise as well. But I was excited. I wanted everyone to meet Mike. <laughs> I'm going to do this with probably all of the newer staff that comes in. My artist, Chastity, I'll have her come over here because I want her to show you guys what she's capable of doing too because everyone on TGP is top notch. Um, they all have great talents. I'm looking at Mike, thinking about, you know, his, his voice, his readings. His readings are clear. He gets in the character. And I can't, I can't wait to release it because I'm so excited for you guys to hear what he can do. Um, and Steven's stuff is already up over there on VidMe as well. So that was uh, the big introduction for uh, my new Mike Shaver coming on. And as well as I remember, um, I think Mike saw me over on Facebook. Um, I was hyper about something, and he sent me a, a message, and he says, I don't know what you're hyper about. <laughs> <laughs> was that you who did that? And you sent me. I'll have to look back on my messages. I want to. I want to make sure of that. <laughs> I think. I think it was Mike. And then I was like, Oh, I got so much going on. And then uh, we connected, but we were already friends and everything on Facebook. And um, and then we connected that way. He sent over some of the sample stuff and uh, found a found a way to get him into uh, uh, TGP. And so far, it's working out really well. So I'm excited. Um, to have everything uh, put out there and released. Um, I wish I could talk more about some of the other stuff that we're doing, but I can't right now. I'm hoping by the end of November um, I'll be able to to do that. I got, I'm keeping my fingers crossed. Um, there's also other stuff with Russ McCamey that I'm working on as well, uh, not just the T-shirt line. Uh, but uh, we have other things. I'm building up his VidMe channel for sponsors uh, so he can start getting sponsors because I have paid sponsors over on my uh, VidMe page. And if you're interested in advertising your business, uh, if you're an author, you want to get your book out there, uh, every time the Dark Hours plays, we put our paid sponsors in there. Um, we get a – we get – a lot of views and that's a really good way for you to to get your work out there uh, is by coming on as a sponsor and I also pitch you on tressagraves.com I've got sponsorship I got partnership and um, when I go out and do my book signings once I start a, uh, uh, my new book tour I'll have my banners and flyers and everything and I can put you guys on there as well um, I'll be back out with Bud Light um, I really love it whenever they go out and they do the advertising for me, uh, like at Dick's Last Resort. Stephen went to his uh, first Dick's Last Resort, and uh, he seemed to like it a lot. So I can't wait to get back out there. We'll have Mike maybe go to a few of them. 
there's not one far from. Well, I think the closest one to you, Mike, would be in um, Indianapolis. I think. I don't know how far that is from you. That's about that's about a hundred miles from where I live. I'm in the Dayton area. Dayton. So it's not that bad then. No. Cool, cool. So if we wanted you to go out there and hang out with us at Dick's Last Resort whenever I'm doing a book signing, <laughs> have you go out there? I, if I, I can get I'm, away with it, yes. <laughs> um, are you familiar with what it is at Dick's Last Resort? Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> Stephen found out real quick. Dick's the hard last, way. The hard way. <laughs> we <laughs> into it, and he he so, did so very what, well. So what am I supposed to expect here? Well, at Dick's Last Resort, um, they have, uh, you go in, you have your dinner, they have the waiters and waitresses that come around, and they get rude with you. They put hats on your head that doesn't say the nicest of things. It's crude humor. <laughs> and the one in Gatlinburg is the probably the wildest one I've ever been to. Um, by the end of the night, you can't even see the floor because they've got so many napkins scattered on the floor because they throw napkins at you. If you want straws, they throw straws at you. Is, is and... this the only place you could find? <laughs> I love this place. <laughs> I love this place. I fit in perfect there. So I, t I tell you what, our my my wife and I, um, we just celebrated our 18th wedding anniversary. You're giving me some ideas for our 20th. Oh, see, that would be fun to go to this place. You guys have to go to the one in Gatlinburg, though. Take her up in the mountains. Let her see. Yeah, we go we go down to Tennessee from time to time. Uh, her. Uh, her mom and uh, stepdad lived down in uh, Carryville, just north of Knoxville, for a mm -hmm. long time. And then uh, her mother moved back up here after her stepdad died. Uh, but um, we we do go back down to Tennessee every now and then. We might uh, I might have to take you up on that uh, on that idea. Yeah, well, um, if they come down, um, Stephen, hopefully Stephen can come down, maybe Philly, and we can do a show. My first dark hour show. I don't know. If people know this or not, but the first Dark Hour show, I think Stephen can correct me if I'm wrong, but the first Dark Hour show I think I did was at a Dick's Last Resort in oh, Gatlinburg. Gosh. They welcomed us for me to do the Dark Hours, and we were okay. there. Yeah, and we had the camera going around. You know, people were coming up and talking to us, and it was just, it's just so much fun. It's a place to go to, lay back, have fun. Be picked on and just love it. <laughs> I'm used to that part. The, be, the being picked on part, I'm used to that. So <laughs> It's pretty cool. I can't it's remember what... second nature for me. <laughs> I can't remember everything that uh, they did to Stephen and Sam that night, but it, it, was, it was pretty funny. So we, we had a good time. That was in downtown Chicago. So you got a, a southern girl in downtown Chicago doing a book signing. I was like on top of the world. I was I had never been to downtown Chicago, and I'm like, you know, I, I, I made it this far, so let's keep moving and moving and moving forward. And yeah, it, it it was it was pretty awesome. And then to have Bud Light go out with me, and I've had the Bud Light girls show up. Um, it's been really cool. It's been, it's been an awesome ride, and things now are even bigger than they were back then. So well, my, I'm I'm really excited with the way things well, Michael, are going. Michael, I have to tell you the the way that they picked on me, the fun that they made of me was, they drew up a hat that had Santa is giving mustache rides. Yeah. That's <laughs> that's just their that's just their way of uh, that was just a young woman's humor. I, I can hardly wait to find it. I can hardly wait to find out what they got planned for me. <laughs> Once they know who I am, I'm sure they're going to come up with something. <laughs> and then uh, Stephen was sitting there, and I wasn't too sure how he was going to take because we had just uh, met face to face. We did a a book signing in Niles, right, Stephen? Yes, we did. And was it just Niles, or did we go to another area of Michigan? Two places. Two places in the same town, yes. In the same town, okay. Because well, I've been to um, Jackson, I've been to Napoleon, I've been to Yipsy. I've been all over the place up in Michigan. And uh, that was the first time that we had met Stephen face-to-face. So we did those book signings, we stayed the night, and then we drove over to um, 
uh, Chicago. No, and we did all three of them in the same day. No, yeah, uh, we. I think we did. Um, didn't I do two book signings in one day though? You did all three of them. You guys drove up. In one day? You guys drove up, then you spent the night, and then we got up and we did the uh, did the wings, etc. And then we went to the library, and then we went on to Dick's. Um, we were busy. <laughs> We were very, very busy. And, so I'm uh, sitting there and I'm, huh? I didn't get home till like 3.30 in the morning, so I'm sure Philly it was like 6 when he got in. Yeah, because he's what, about three hours from you? Or? Uh, a good solid two and a half, yeah. Two and a half. So Steven's sitting over there. He's just got this big smile on his face, and I'm recording him and Philly and Sam. And I said, Steven, say I love dicks. <laughs> and Stephen looks in the camera and says, "I love dicks." <laughs> well, that's their thing. They make everybody say that. I love dicks. <laughs> and Mike, when I go back out and I start doing book signings and I go around to like Dick Flash Resort, I always post something to their page. I'll say, "Tressa loves dicks," and then Dicks will come back and say, "Dicks loves Tressa." <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty wild but it's fun it's fun that's what i like to do i like to have fun i like everyone who's on board to have fun not seem like it's work and i'm not a bookstore kind of girl i like to go out and mingle with people and stuff and that's what it says in my bio too it says i'm not a bookstore kind of girl you know i, I think some of about your kind of antics in a bookstore in the first place would they <laughs> I know. <laughs> and some of my outfits I like to wear. I like to wear like the mini skirts, the high heels and you know, go all out and when I go to like Dicks and stuff I can do that. I've been to like like uh Steven said, Wings, etc. I've been to a lot of a lot of nice uh pubs. We went to Bar Five in downtown Knoxville. That place was it's really upscale um um Place that I had gone to to do book signings and stuff, but that that that's my type of uh, of getting out and doing book signings. But me doing that led to uh, Bud Light because Bud Light, um, I had some of the reps come out in Brandon, Florida, because I had went down there in my hometown to do a book signing, and some of the reps showed up and they said, "This is so cool. We've never done anything with an author before." And it was it was really cool to to have Bud Light, you know, follow me around and do that. So, and I've also had people tell me on their um, banners and posters and you know anything that they make for me, they say Bud Light don't put their name with anything. But if you go in and look at some of the posters and banners that they've done for me, they did a three foot by five foot double sided banner. It was hanging from the ceiling in Dick Flash Resort, and it has my name and Bud Light, and it's like, and they don't do that. And I was like, oh my god, <laughs> I'm doing something right. <laughs> Yeah, so that was pretty cool. But I done talk, talk, talk about me. How, uh, what, where are we at for time, Stephen? We're at about 19 minutes almost. Okay. Well, we can stop it uh, about 20 if you guys want. Is there anything else you want to say, Mike? Or um, There's really not much more I can add right now. All I can say is uh, just um, stay tuned. It's kind of one way to look at it, I guess. Coming. Yeah, because we've got some big things coming. We'll break him in, Stephen. Pretty soon he'll be chatty like me and acting goofy yeah, you'll, like you'll, me. You'll break me in and then I'll be breaking out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got to put that post in the air. Okay. Sometimes I think Stephen wants to run away, but he don't. Or, or does he just keep coming back? He keeps coming he's, back. He keeps coming back more, right? <laughs> he loves it. He loves it. See, I, he won't say anything. I'll give, so I you, can the, say whatever I'll I give you the standard uh, answer. I can, neither, I can neither confirm nor deny it. <laughs> That's not fair. Okay. Okay. That's not fair. I'll tear him up after we're off uh, the show here. <laughs> Me and him will go back and forth a little bit. So. <laughs> but thanks for coming on, Mike, and letting everyone know who you are. And hopefully, we'll have up the book trailer in the next couple days. Um, 
and yeah, so I'm going to put this over on VidMe and send me your information and I'll post it up and let everyone see it. Very good. All right. Thanks, Stephen, for another show. You know I love you. All right. Good night, guys. <laughs> good night. Bye.